I love drinking and cooking with wine. I'm gonna give you a few ideas that allow you to drink and cook. This is gonna move really, really quick, so be sure to pay close attention. We're first gonna make a simple syrup. Boil together equal parts water and sugar. Once boiled, transfer it to a bowl. We're gonna hit it in the refrigerator and we're gonna come back and make a great marinade. I promise that simple syrup has a purpose and we're gonna get to it at the end. For now, let's make an awesome wine marinade. Go ahead and chop up some garlic, shallots. We're gonna whisk that together with a little bit of balsamic vinegar, sugar, grainy mustard, some fresh chopped rosemary, olive oil. We're gonna hit in some delicious Cabernet Sauvignon and what we wanna do is submerge a ribeye in this delicious marinade. We wanna hit it in the refrigerator, let it marinate for at least 30 minutes and no longer than 24 hours. Now let's move to making a sauce with wine. We're just gonna prep up though. We're also gonna chop up some garlic, a shallot, some fresh dill. We're gonna cut a couple lemons in half. Here's what we're gonna do with the simple syrup. We're gonna make sangria. We've already got some chopped up oranges, some fresh berries. We wanna pour the simple syrup coat it in that goodness. Next, we're gonna add in a little juice. I have some cranberry raspberry. Feel free to use pomegranate or even ginger ale. Next, we're gonna add in a delicious fruity wine, a red Zinfandel. What we wanna do at this point is simply chill it. If you wanna drink it right away, hit some ice cubes in there. It's good enough for sipping. In the meantime, we're gonna come back. We're gonna finish up our white wine sauce and our steak. Now to grill the steak, we're gonna remove it from the marinade, season it on all sides with salt and pepper. It's going on a smoking hot grill in between 450 and 550 degrees. It's gonna take four to six minutes on each side for this bad boy to be a medium rare internal temperature. Now let's go back to the white wine sauce. We've got a delicious sea bass here in a very, very hot saute pan with a tad bit of olive oil. Once it's smoking, we're gonna add in our fish. We're gonna cook it for three to four minutes on each side. Once it's finished, we're gonna remove it. Now for the white wine sauce. Add in a little bit more olive oil. Caramelize the shallots and garlic. Once caramelized, go ahead and squeeze in the juice of one lemon. We're gonna add in some capers. Deglaze with white wine. We're gonna cook it to a sec or almost gone. Next, we're gonna whisk in some very cold butter. We're gonna adjust the seasonings with salt, cracked black pepper, fresh dill. We're gonna bring everything together and have a feast. The lemon caper dill sauce would go fantastic with just about any fish and chicken. And for the Cabernet charred ribeye, this would be a fantastic marinade with steak, chicken, or pork. And the sangria, is there ever a bad time to drink wine? I didn't think so. Get all these great ingredients from your favorite Heinen's fine food stores and visit Heinen's.com to see all of our great recipe videos. It looks like I got a lot to eat and a lot of wine to drink. We'll see you next time.